for this SGDQ. It is my first. Hopefully not your last. We have a $5 donation from Anonymous that says, Pikmin Hype. It's one of my favorite childhood games. Seeing this getting destroyed in under 10 days will be awesome. Oh, yeah. Save Captain Olimar and kill the animals. Pikmin Hype. All right, how is it going to work with the countdown? Are we going to get a countdown? Uh, I can do it, yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right, hi, I'm Emily Brooks, and I speedrun a lot of games. And tonight I get to show you Pikmin, which is one of the first games I learned to speedrun, so that's pretty cool. Pikmin is sort of like a real-time strategy game, but it's not a top-down one. You have to control this little guy called Olimar, who had the unfortunate incident of crashing into this meteor. Um, before we get too deep into things, I just want to say that this game is really mean and unforgiving, <laughs> and something bad's going to happen in this run, but it's going to be hilarious, so we'll just go with it. Okay, let's, let's introduce people on the couch. So we got next to me, Sydney. Very Sydney. Um, I mostly know the uh, differences between the Wii and the GameCube version. Okay, and then we hey. also got 360 Chrism. Hey, I'm Chrism. I, uh, I play the GameCube version of this game a lot, or cool. I used to. All right, so Olimar only has like 30 days of life support before he dies on this foreign planet, and that's an issue. Uh, he can't lift off because his spaceship is broken and the vital ship parts are scattered across the, the lands, so we have to go retrieve them. This is the onion. This is where we're going to get Pikmin, and it's pretty vital to the run. Uh, this specific one is red. There's different colors, which we'll touch on later. The first day of every Pikmin game is more of a tutorial day. You have to, like, you get introduced to the controls, and it's usually really slow. <laughs> yeah. Funny enough, in all three Pikmin games, I think the uh, the first day is around between six and seven minutes long. Yeah. Okay, so this is Pikmin. These are adorable little carrot slaves. Now I have a question. Um, how much money was donated to save the animals so far? <laughs> well, okay, we'll, we'll touch back on that. So right now what I'm doing is I'm collecting these pellet guys, and that's going to grow more Pikmin for me to use. The Pikmin are smart enough to carry these all the way back to the onion, mostly by themselves, as long as they won't get eaten along the way. So that's pretty good. That allows me to do a little bit of multitasking. Uh, this game was released on the GameCube, right? But I'm playing a, it's, they call it the new play controls, where they sort of did these experimental things. I'm playing this, I can use the cursor of the Wii Remote to sort of throw a lot farther than I normally would. And that's gonna make this game a little bit different from the GameCube version. I'll point those out. Just so you know, for the save or the kill the animals right now, uh, right now we have kill winning at $69,840, whereas save is $69,733. All right. Oh, it's really close. Very That's close. a lot of money. And last I checked, there was no money donated to saving the Pikmin. <laughs> 
Those poor Pikmin. <laughs> oh boy. If anyone's followed me when I practice this game, you'll know that I'm pretty frustrated with the Pikmin. Often they will not do what I want them to do. In fact, for every Pikmin that dies in this run, I will be donating $1. Ooh. Which could be really great or really bad for my bank account. <laughs> Rip the bank account. I'll try to have mercy. <laughs> right, now, right now they're pushing a box. Uh, there's certain obstacles that require like a minimum amount of Pikmin to accomplish. Right there's a ship part, but we'll get back to that a little bit later. I need 20 Pikmin to carry it, so mostly this day is just farming parts. A little optimization there. You can dismiss Pikmin, and if you dismiss them near stuff, they'll just automatically start carrying it. Yeah. Um, the numbers on the bottom. Uh, the very left one is how many Pikmin are currently actively in your party. Uh, the middle one is how many Pikmin are on the field. And the one on the right is how many you have total. Okay, so right now I'm watching this cutscene. And during these cutscenes, uh, Pikmin are going to sprout from the onion, even though the rest of the game world is frozen. So that saves a couple seconds of me waiting. We have a hundred dollar donation from Green Hero Miru. Pikmin is one of my all-time favorite games. Can't wait to see it destroyed. Donation goes towards more cowbell. <laughs> so this is the ship part. There's 30 of these in the game, and the category I'm playing all parts requires me to get all of them in order to get the best ending of the game. I just kind of have to wait for it to slowly get back to the ship, so this is a good time for donations. Sure thing, we have a $20 donation from Takathan157 saying, Correct me if I'm wrong, but killing Pikmin does not save frames and therefore not needed. Save the Pikmin, save the frames, but kill the animals. I'm saving a very small amount of frames because the little menu of the onion where I have to select how many Pikmin I'm going to extract is a little bit inefficient. And if I can just pull out the exact number of how many Pikmin I have left, it's a lot faster. Like two or three seconds. That's just a small little out of bounds because this game is well programmed. <laughs> Alright, so we got our main engine. Our ship can fly again. Olimar is not in despair. This unlocks the next area of the game, uh, the Forest of Hope. And, you know, six minutes into the run, oh, it's not going to be too bad. But day two is actually pretty brutal. There's a lot of stuff I have to worry about. And it's sort of the make or break moment of the run. If I don't do this well, it's going to affect the entire rest of the run. So hopefully things go well. There are five areas in the game. And there's a certain area that needs to be unlocked by day four called Distant Spring, and it requires 12 parts? Yes, 12. Yes, 12. Um, so Emily needs to get five parts today and six parts in Forest Naval? Yeah. Yes, okay. Um, so there's a lot of multitasking. Right now we're kind of just stuck in this area, so I'm going to put them on the gate. And there's nothing else better to do, so I'll collect some pellets. We have a $40 donation from Captain X24. Staying up late just to catch this run. It's great to see Pikmin in another GDQ. Best of love crushing that time estimate, Emily. Captain's the person who ran Pikmin at a previous Games Done Quick, so thank you. We have a $30 donation from Traditional Boar. Hello all, this is my fourth GDQ and my third time donating. This goes out to my cousin who convinced me that when the Pikmin sang, that meant that they were lonely and I should be ashamed. Save the Pikmin, kill the animals.
Des91 donates $100. Pikmin was the reason why I bought a GameCube when it released. So excited for the run, and thank you to all the SGDQ staff for this fantastic event. Kill the animals. So the first part here is just a lot of farming Pikmin because they're, Emily needs a lot of Pikmin to do everything. Yeah, I'm going to want about 77 reds uh, in order to get all the parts I need to at once. I just punch this guy to death. He doesn't put up much of a fight. We have oh. a $10 donation from Mama T Rex. My seven year old Alex can't sleep without watching this Pikmin run first. Go fast. Zzz. I can't do Pikmin runs fast because I love to save the Pikmin, so I must vote to save the animals. So a little trick there, um, Pikmin when they're thrown in the water will try to like get to land as quickly as possible. Um, and if you whistle at them, I think they go a little bit faster, right? Yeah. Um, so you're supposed to have blue Pikmin to throw those Pikmin onto that bridge, but you can just throw those Pikmin into the water and scare them to death. You can make the red Pikmin swim as well. Yes. I sort of have an abusive relationship with the Pikmin, but it's okay. They're, they're, they didn't die, so I'm good. We have an anonymous $50 donation. Awesome event, donation goes to Runner's Choice. So many Pikmin plugs. Yeah. <laughs> it takes like a minute. <laughs> I actually want to cut this off halfway because I'm going to run out of Pikmin to pluck before the new ones sprout. Yeah, right here. Oh yeah, so when, when a Pikmin... Pikmin in this game randomly trip and fall over, which can slow you down a lot. But if you dismiss them and whistle them back immediately, they they will start running again immediately. Yeah, I can't do that everywhere because there's some instances where they'll go into water or like run into an enemy. So I have to always be aware if I can do that or not. It's really fun when a Pikmin trips. And triggers a boss fight, and oh. kills like it kills like 50 Pikmin with it. <laughs> it's really great. That one guy. Right now I have 79, so that's two Pikmin to play with, which isn't terrible. Sometimes I only get like 77, and then it's scary. We have a $20 donation from Zeta Gundam ZZ. So happy to see one of the best video games ever, Pikmin. Thanks, and good luck to the runner. Save the Pikmin. But I have to send a yo to my favorite streamer who's on the couch. Donation goes to 360 Chrism's Choice. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, this is a little bit of enemy manipulation. Um, the AI sort of isn't very smart and will go in one direction if it's too much trouble to turn around. Yeah, what I did is I threw a Pikmin up there on the ledge because I don't want to fight them. It's pretty risky. Like, I only have two extra Pikmin, and I usually lose a lot more for some reason when I fight Bulborbs. He won't bother us anymore, so we're good. Is that hammering noise him? Yep, yeah. oh he's still God. walking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Serious tunnel vision. It's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, so we found this yellow onion, and the colors actually differentiate them because they have special abilities. Uh, yellow Pikmin, they can pick up bomb rocks, and there's a lot of gates that I can't break down normally, so I need to use bombs. The other thing they're good at is they can be thrown higher. So, so there's some high ledges I need to get Pikmin up that only yellows can get to. So the exact same thing I did with the main engine I'm doing here. There's a cutscene, and you can kind of see that sprout growing during the cutscene. Saves a couple of seconds, but this game is mostly just movement optimization. A lot of small things add up over an hour. It's pretty ridiculous when you try and figure it out. This is actually where one of the uh, first differences between the Wii and the GameCube versions come into play. Um, the, in the GameCube version, if you whistle at a Pikmin that has a bomb rock and they're like not in your party, they'll just drop it right there. In the Wii version, they don't do that. So um, when she throws the bomb rocks at the gates, they'll drop automatically. On the GameCube version, I think you can just put them all there and they'll explode, right? If you throw a Pikmin with a bomb and you whistle it, it will drop it. If you dismiss a Pikmin with a bomb and you whistle it, they will not drop it. And they will never drop it in this version, unless you throw them at it like something that they can break. Yeah, uh, because of that difference, bomb gates are a lot more challenging and dangerous. I don't want my yellows to die. I grew 17 and those are the only ones I'm gonna grow in the run, hopefully. And if anything bad happens to them, to the point where I need more, I have to waste more time growing them. This Bulborb, I can't do the same trick. He's sort of in a bad spot. So we just kill him with two bombs. Ooh. And then, that that is a very interesting bug. Sometimes Whoa. the yellow Pikmin will be thrown extremely high there, and it completely messes up everything. <laughs> I was able to call them back before they did any real harm. But on, game, on GameCube, they would have both died. Yeah. <laughs> no chance. Okay. They kind of left that picture no. behind. What? Whatever. I've got Never two forget. extras. That's, uh, yeah, that's we'll one dollar. Yeah, we'll save this guy. <laughs> yeah, one. Okay, 82 is fine. So these are... Uh, <laughs> This grass has what's called nectars, and you'll notice the little leaves on the Pikmin's head. They actually have three stages, the leaves, the buds, and flowers. Um, and Oh, oh my no, god. No nectar Nectar wow. trolled. Uh, it's such a low percent that they <laughs> don't drop anything. All right, there we're good. Is. There it is. That wasn't the best nectar, but we'll make it work. So there's a little timer that goes on when the well, first Pikmin like starts drinking the nectar. And if you don't get all of your Pikmin on it before that timer expires, they just can't drink the nectar. What is he grabbing? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Let's go. <laughs> Got places to be, you know. So there's another trick with the AI coming up. And Emily zooms in here because if you zoom in, the they sort of just like stop working the enemies. Um, and that lets her get the Pikmin away so that the that giant thing doesn't turn around. Yeah, I had to get my Pikmin safely out of the way. Otherwise he would have turned around and not going for the Pikmin I threw on the ledge. Okay, I'm not sure I have 15 bombs. Oh, lovely. <gasps> Don't eat the bomb. Oh my god. That was a red. That was a red. It's all good. I think I don't have enough Pikmin to get the radiation canopy now. <laughs> we'll see how this works. So this is another difference between the GameCube and the Wii version. On the Wii version, you can throw the Pikmin farther. On the GameCube version, you could not do this. You can still blow that gate down in the GameCube version, but you have to do a different setup.
Wait, why do I have an extra bomb? Oh, but that gate's broken down. I'm so confused. I shouldn't- Just take it, just take it. <laughs> Welcome to Pikmin Runs. <laughs> I should only have nine. It's an extra gift for you. These guys are really slow to kill with Pikmin, and they're very good at killing Pikmin, so I need to punch them with Olimar. So this gate is very annoying okay, we're good. on the Wii version. Um, because of the... they You can't make them drop the bombs immediately. You have to throw them at the gate. Sometimes, if you throw them, they'll throw bombs oh, at those little guys. That better still break down the gate. Um, it should. We're yeah, good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah. If that didn't, like, there's no extra bombs unless I go to the other side of the map, and that would have just wasted too much time. So it's pretty important to get that gate broken down there. At how many parts does the next level unlock? I think it's five total? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I happen to be missing a lot of Pikmin. And I don't have the radar because it's right there. I need to capture it before I can use it. So I guess I'm going to go for the... Don't forget the bulwarks. Oh, yes, that is correct. We're going to go for a different part instead. Uh, it's slower to skip the radiation canopy here, but I need to have 80 Pikmin. We have a $5 donation from Soap Salesman. I've always wanted to donate and finally found the perfect time. Shout out to my buddy uh, Numafu who convinced me to stay up and watch the Pikmin run. Save the animals. Yeah, like right there, we have a straggler. Uh, Pikmin like to get left behind a lot, and it's hard to keep track of them sometimes, especially on day two, when you don't have the radar to quickly check the map. Oh god, we're traffic happens. jamming. Okay, we got All right, it. You go. <laughs> So, shout out to the invisible part in that cutscene. We have a $10 donation nice. from Chip41. Glad to see Pikmin. This game absorbed my life when it came out. Can't wait to see Emily destroy it. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. So, I think that little cutscene marks unlocking the next area. Why are there Pikmin there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Do you need that yellow? Um, I think two died. So that would be three. I have Pikmin counts pretty bad. This is not a pretty ideal day two. Um, we're going to have to make this work. I'm going to try and salvage this, though, because if I don't get this part past these bridges on day two, then I have to rebuild the bridges because some enemies are going to break it down. So I want to get at least that done, and hopefully I can get it back to the ship. You could try... Could you go flower them in the meantime? Um, is there any I think it's going to be cutting it close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to end the day. Like, I still don't understand where I'm missing... Oh, that's what happened. So some yellows decided to take uh, a sheer grub back. And that's okay, because they're going to be saved since they're under the onion. They do whatever they want. <laughs> yeah. I can make so two yellows, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So at the end of the day, if Pikmin are not in your party, near the ship, or underneath an onion, they get left behind. And that's obviously a very easy way to lose all your Pikmin, so you got to be careful about that. We have a $20 donation from Darkowan. Pikmin's always been one of my favorite games and I can't wait to see it taken down in style. Best of luck with this brutal game, Emily. Donating to kill the Pikmin, kill the animals, and help some doctors save humans. So this is Forest Nable, uh, the second area of the game. I got five parts, so I unlocked it and I didn't have to go back which is pretty good for making distant spring by day four. 
This level also introduces the blue Pikmin. You spoiled it. Come on. <laughs> okay, very good. Can one of you explain why I needed the pellet there? So, yes, that pellet. Um... <laughs> there's that... a there's an enemy in this level called the bread bug and you saw it earlier it's the one dragging that blue pellet around over there um, it's it's got a part inside of its stomach and so it'll try to drag pellets back and so the, it'll come to these pellets right here and um, when the Pikmin grab it they'll drag it back to the onion and kill it and that's how you get the part out yeah. If he was, if I didn't get a pellet drop there, he would have started going for the sheer grubs, and I need their corpses because there's not a lot of drops here. Hopefully, this guy gives me some. But I need those guys. They give me four Pikmin sprouts, and they only take one Pikmin to carry, so I'm going to use them to grow a lot of blues. What is happening? Like, no I need no to... drops. I've never seen that. Or one pellet out of four enemies. Like, I'm only going to get one yellow off of this. <laughs> um... <laughs> Usually, they can drop between one and three, as far as I know, each. And only one dropped one. We're going to make this work. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm concerned about how I'm going to get the bread bug later, if I don't have any drops. How many do you usually need? Usually, I get, like, two or three. I only need one more for the bread bug to carry. Oh, okay. Best RNG ever. Got Nectar Trolled too. This has turned out great. Oh, there's a couple more. Oh, there we go. So this is the blue onion. It has blue Pikmin, surprisingly. Yeah, blue Pikmin can walk through water without dying. And there's a lot of water in this game. They also have the best face. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna try and grow only like 40 of them and maybe grow some later. Some other runs of the game, like you can vary your route a lot and a lot of people choose to grow 90 blues here to make distance spring a little bit easier, but hopefully I'm gonna use a route that's a little bit faster and only grow 40 of them for Distant Spring. The reason you need 40 is because there's a part that requires 40, right? Yeah, it's in the water. Mm -hmm. We have a $20 donation from Mama Fufu. I've always wanted to donate to GDQ, and what better time than during one of my favorite games, Pikmin. Keep the Pikmin safe, get Olimar home, and save the animals. Mm -hmm. yeah. 100 smacks. So this is actually an issue because I had to grow those yellows. I need to go put them back so that I can have enough blues to carry stuff. We have a $47 donation from Keekers. Shout out to Tom, who has been waiting all day for this Pikmin run. Love you, good luck, Emily, and kill the animals. All right, that should count out correctly. Yeah, 11. All right, we saved that little snafu. Hopefully I didn't waste too much time so I can get all the parts I need for the end of the day. I'll just try to hustle. We have a $50 donation from Vitamin D. Shout out to my brother for buying me a Coke so we could stay awake and watch Emily's Pikmin run. We're rooting for you. Oh. And would someone be willing to place some wooden cabinets behind Chrism? It looks a little empty without them. 
wooden cabinets. Oh my god. He's <laughs> <laughs> talking about my closet. My, See, my this living is the room. part I'm worried about because there's no pellets for him to grab at all. Oh, good. There's one in the nectar patch. Oh, that's a convenient place for it. Oh, okay. I didn't see this one. That'll work. So there's a little bit of pre-damage needed to actually kill the bug. It does like 98% of its health when it hits the onion. So if it's if it's got full health, it'll survive with just like this little sliver. Yeah, they're going to bring it all the way to the onion. And when it absorbs it, it'll kill it. And then I'll put the part right next to my ship, which is pretty convenient. So Emily's returning some of the Pikmin to the onion here. Um, you can only have 100 Pikmin in the field. Um, so if you need more of different types, you have to put some away and then take some out. Okay, 40 good. We're back on track. We have an anonymous $20 donation. Awesome Pikmin run so far, Emily. Keep up the great work. We're all behind you. Donation to Saving the Animals or Runner's Choice if she has one. What's your Runner's Choice, Emily? I'm donating for Shikuku for the SMRPG file name. So that enemy there was a Nectar Wisp. It's basically guaranteed Nectar. Yeah, I want all of my blues flowered for Distant Spring. So luckily there's two of them right there. I get a lot of opportunities to do it. Uh, this whole little stretch here is actually kind of challenging, especially if you're not familiar with what parts you need to get. You need all three types of Pikmin and you need 15 yellows to actually get the Libra, which is up two high ledges. Okay, if I counted right, I should have 15 yellows. That is seven. Oh my goodness gracious. Where are they? Well, I only have seven in the field. They're in the onion. Oh, no. That sucks. Yeah, there's absolutely no way to get this without yellows. In the entire run, you only need 15 yellows just for this part. And then... Are they necessary still? I, don't uh, I just so. need them for bombs. Bombs, pretty much, yeah. So one would be enough for the rest of the run. We have a ten dollar donation from Pi. Sending positive luck vibes to Emily. You're awesome, and I hope everyone has a good evening. Um, still need one more. Uh, yeah, why is he not going? Oh, he picked up the stupid part. <laughs> okay, that'll work. So this is kind of not going well. I'm gonna be tight on time. I'm pretty concerned. Yeah, we might have to skip Distant Spring on day four. We'll see, though. We want to go to Distant Spring as soon as possible because there's extra enemies that spawn later on. And if you go there on day four, there is a lot of enemies missing. You don't have to worry about yes. the snitch bugs. <laughs> Do they show up on day five? Yeah. yeah. So the snitch bug is a, is a completely RNG enemy. It'll fly around the entire map, and it'll... When it finds you, it'll pick Pikmin up and throw them back in the ground, which is not good. Okay. What? Wait, you can get the red one up there, but you can't get them up the second one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this one requires the uh, yellows to bring it down, blues to get Olimar up there, and then reds to actually carry the part through the fire geysers. It's very important they zoom the camera in here because the Libra can bounce when it drops down the ledges, and it's very easy for it to bounce out of bounds, actually. And that would make my file not completable. Never happened to me. <laughs> Never seen it either.
Let's try not to burn all my Pikmin. Oh, jeez. You scared me. Just playing a little on the dangerous side. <laughs> Everything is all right. Living on the edge. As my Pikmin burn around me. <laughs> this run is lit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was getting booed for that one. So yeah, if a Pikmin lights on fire like that, if you whistle at them, the fire magically one goes out. Uh. That is very frustrating. Um, I guess I'm gonna go save it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Boo. the staff is booing me. <laughs> Boo is the mysterious sign. <laughs> I have to wait for the part to get out of the fire geysers now, but I kind of need this blue. <sighs> we have a $25 donation from Dash Near. My roommate and I got up at 3.40 in the morning to watch the Pikmin All Parts Run. Pikmin has been a long-time fave here in our household, so here's hoping we can pick up some great new ways to play the game. Take your tiny army and go forth to conquer distant planet, and good luck on the run. Money goes to Runner's Choice. I have a pretty janky way of fast throwing Pikmin because they don't have like the C stick on the Wii version. Yeah, so if you cover the IR sensor, the the reticule for Olimar's throwing doesn't move. So you can just fast throw them that way in one direction. If you try to do it without covering the sensor, uh, the, it just goes all over the place and it's not a good time. Pick it up. There's a there's a bomb there. Don't get discouraged, little buddy. That would kill the run on GameCube. <laughs> run over. <laughs> Fifteen bombs gone. Rip. I've done that once. It's not nice. Let's not have him squish my bombs though. That would be pretty bad. I only threw five. Yeah, um, I think we have to say goodbye to Day 4 Distant Spring. I just kind of have to salvage the situation and just go back at a later day. I've practiced both routes because depending on how well the first two takes. Don't forget go. the blues. Oh, that's right. Yes. And that's kind of an example of how brutal the RNG in this game can be. Yeah, in this run, there were like one Pikmin there, one Pikmin there, doing like slacking off. And we really need like all the Pikmin, yeah, mostly. I had bad deaths. These guys are tripping. I had bad deaths, <laughs> and then I got screwed over by Breadbug. And it was kind of like the, the double compound situation. Got to use the bomb in time. The bombs, are you not using them? I. We're just going to have to get the the can later. I'm still missing about 30. Okay, I got him. So, only one Pikmin left behind, no major disaster. But I'm kind of ending the day with not a lot of parts collected. So I'm just going to go back to impact site and kind of make sure we're on top of the Pikmin counts and go cycle back. We have a $10 donation from no Luck 175 Let my two sons, Jacob and David, to stay up all night just for the Pikmin run. Good luck. We have a lot of extra yellows. Don't do it. <laughs> 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 I 
I have their life in my hands. Do it. <laughs> Do it. See, there's only one other part in Impact Site. And it's it's kind of lame, because like usually you'd want to complete the game in as little days as possible, and you have to waste a whole day uh, just to getting us one part. But there's no way to get two parts no. here. <laughs> getting up this stupid ramp is very challenging, especially since you can't like tightly pack them like you can with the GameCube C-Stick. We have an anonymous $100 donation. So glad to see this game and run by an awesome runner. Pikmin was one of my favorites. I used to get so attached to the Pikmin that I would cry if they died. Please don't let them die, Emily. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Oh, that was a little too early. So right now I'm grabbing this pearl. This is going to give me 50 more blues. This is a very fast way to farm Pikmin. And we have to do the same thing where we attack this clan. Uh, if you leave them in too long, they are going to get eat, like destroyed. So I need to whistle them back. And then sometimes they just don't want to come back. And there's not really much I can do there. Ah, uh, wanted to be a little bit safe. No! <laughs> we don't need them. I don't want to pluck 50 blues, so what I'm doing is I'm maxing out all 100 in the field, and that way they're going to go straight to the onion, and I won't have to pluck them. We have a $15 donation from Alex Gamer. Hey Emily, you're one of my favorite streamers, and I wish you luck on the rest of your run. Save the Pikmin. Kill the animals. Okay. Uh, so I have 15 yellows in the onion, and I have 90 blues. I'm not really sure how many reds I have. So I got 60, 70, so that's plenty of reds. Okay, I need to get radiation canopy too. On Forest of Hope. I'm mean, I like having to reroute this, because uh, yeah, just the first two days were very bad. So Forest of Hope 2. Um, there's one part in particular I actually skipped. It's the Geiger counter, and because there's these enemies that guard it, the Burrowing Snagrits, they're very hard to deal with, especially when you're trying to get so many parts on day two. Uh, they're, they will only be killed if they get their head stuck in the ground, and it's completely up to RNG whether they get their head stuck in the ground or not. Why do we run this game again? <laughs> I don't because know. Because it's fun. <laughs> because the people want it. It's fun. It's actually a huge difference from the GameCube version. Uh, because I can throw farther, and the enemy's right up here. Normally you'd have to like blow down a wall, push a cardboard box, navigate over some water, but... Forget that, let's just throw them up there. Yeah. It's very hard to be consistent at this fast throwing method because you need all of them are to be right next to the Pikmin. All right. Not enough Pikmin grabbed onto it. Now, get stuck in the ground. Yo! Oh, yeah. yeah! Nice. So you see how much damage that's doing. He's going to die. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. Clapping for RNG. Let's do it.
We have a $20 donation from Pal. Luckily, this is a decent time to be up in Europe, but I would have watched this at any hour. Don't let those Pikmin die, but kill the animals. So there you can see the, the sheer wigs breaking down the bridge, but luckily we got the part back in time. Whoa, we need more than 14. Maybe. Um, 31 should be fine. What could go wrong? It'll be fine. We have a $50 donation from Blue Bomber 285. Man, not having vacation time from work kind of sucks. Hoping to join all of you one time for this awesome event. And the donation goes to the reader's choice because all readers deserve some love as well. So uh, Emily feels bad about using Pikmin as bait earlier, so she's going to use herself as bait now. Show the Pikmin what true bravery is. Hopefully they picked up the part. Sounds like it. Okay, we're good. It's very easy for this bulb orb to actually turn around and eat the Pikmin. It's a very scary moment for me. Okay. We have a $10 donation from Daniel Bailey. I am sitting watching SGDQ with my baby daughter. Hopefully one day she'll be into video games as much as I am. Let's see that Pokemon incentive met. Thank you for everything you do. You still need the cannon beetle. Yeah, I'm going for it. Okay. Don't worry. Just make it sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that where I had like 29 parts and I'll be like, where's that one part I missed? Oh, yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, I didn't get that in time. I think that's the last part for this area. I don't need that many guys. 60 should be fine. So these are blue Pikmin. We can just walk them through the ground instead of throwing them up the ledge. This is my favorite monster in the game. It's adorable. Unfortunately, we had to brutally murder it. Yeah. Twice. So this guy doesn't actually like have the part inside of him, and if you want to be really ballsy, you could just try and sneak the part by without him noticing. But he has this boulder attack, and that can kill a large amount of Pikmin, so we're going to play it safe. Also the Pikmin really love the nectar grass, and that's a great way to get stragglers if they get stuck on it and you don't notice. It's really funny. This game is designed for you to t use all three Pikmin colors to get all parts. But there's two levels where you only need two colors. And you can completely ignore the other one. You can beat this level completely without blue Pikmin. Yep. And the final area completely without... Was it? Reds. You don't yeah, need reds yeah, at all. Yeah. Alright, we got the radiation canopy. I'll do a double check to make sure I'm not missing something obvious. Yes. I've had Pikmin in my party get left behind. It was the most ridiculous thing ever. So hopefully that doesn't happen. 20. Yeah, was it yesterday? Yes. What, 20 in the party just left behind. <laughs> okay, we're good. I don't know what it is about Forest of Hope, but it just happens. Okay, let's get the rest of the parts we missed. We have a $7 donation from Andronian. Donating $1 per yellow Pikmin mercilessly thrown into the pond or left for dead. Rip Pikmin <laughs> friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to need like 60 of these guys. Yeah, we sort of got all these right next to here so we could just, you know, finish actually getting them back. I should probably focus on only one at a time. That would be smart. <laughs> I 
Yeah, we're gonna have to grab some emergency bombs too. I didn't bomb the gates in time. We have a $50 donation from Subliebora. I love the amount of geekiness invested in this event. Thank you for a great week and a good cause. We have a $25 donation from 66 Majin. Pikmin have got to be the saddest creatures to ever exist. For you, they will fight, carry, multiply, and be eaten every day, but they won't ever ask you to love them. Please love the Pikmin anyway. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. You're one blue short. Yeah. There was a one guy in the sprout. He yeah. sprouted in the ground. Okay. I don't want to backseat game, but I just want to make sure you're... No, in, in. I would have left those blues to die accidentally. That would not have been good. Okay, good. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The Pikmin really love the iridescent flint beetle as well. And that's no fun, because they like to chase them away. Also, say that name five times fast. Iridescent flint beetle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I need my yellows. We have a $50 donation from AJ56. M, I am so proud of you for doing this. You're doing so great. I love watching your speedrun, and you're doing this for an amazing cause. Thank you for donating your time, so I donate to this. Love, AJ. Thank you so much, AJ. It means a lot. Ah, I tried. Okay, let's get 25 on this. The frogs can do that. I want to get them out of the way, but sometimes they just won't hop, and that wastes time, and it makes me like really on edge, because I don't know if they're going to do it, and I have to be prepared for both options. Oh, I already bombed on this gate, so we're good there. Um, no. Oh my goodness. I don't I don't have as many Pikmin as I usually do. So Emily has to be a little cautious with that enemy because it can actually clip the Pikmin out of bounds and they'll just die. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Everything is gonna be fine. <laughs> We're good. The death, the death animation can push them out of bounds and then they die. <laughs> Nice. Taking the hit like a champ. <laughs> I guess I'll save BD long legs for later. I might have to make another day. Nah, you can take him. I just don't have enough Pikmin to carry the part. We have a $20 donation from Nemo2342. It's almost 1 a.m. here in Alaska, and I'm still awake watching an amazing Pikmin run. Keep up the good work, Emily. Put the money towards runner's choice.
I want more than 15. That'll be good. Okay. No. <laughs> but whatever, we'll get free health. <laughs> okay. You got one yellow in your party? <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> what are you doing? Saved him. Are you left one behind? Unbelievable. No! <laughs> <laughs> In the abyss. <laughs> So savage. <laughs> <laughs> Just that one. Okay, those are all the bombs I need, so. They just dropped the bombs? Yeah. Yo. We have a $50 donation from Dwarven Mercs. hey -o. Love this event so much. Couldn't watch that much as I wanted, but now I will watch until the end. The money goes to Pokemon Blue. Thank you so much for your effort. Okay, let me think. So I need to do like 30 for BD Long Legs. Um, they're still carrying that part back. I can get the automatic gear before that happens. It's not even half day yet, so I should be good. I won't have to spend an extra day here. Also, there was another example of zooming in the camera to uh, manipulate movement there. Um, if Emily had been watching the part, they would have just toppled over and they would have fallen and it would have yes. been a big mess. But when you don't look at them, they function very well. Yeah, it's especially bad there because they're going to not pick up the part again. So I had to waste more time dismissing them and putting them back on the part. And they also lose their flowers if they topple over, which is not desirable. I want all the flowers so that the Pikmin move faster and deal more damage. We have a $15 donation from Thomas Mersch. Pikmin was one of my favorite games growing up and it's amazing to see it run here at SGDQ. I never got to beat the final boss as a kid, so Emily, take my donation and my energy and go show that jerk of a boss what's up. Will. Also, big shout out to Doctors Without Borders for all they do to make our world a better place. You will definitely get what's coming to him, don't worry. It's just that one yellow guy. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave him. <laughs> well, that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? These are not reds. I'm colorblind, apparently. Red, oh, the trip, they're, they're... the trip. He's gonna die. I, I have more than 40. <laughs> He's gonna die. What a trooper. He'll be fine. If he survives it. Okay. Now we can do this wonderful fight. We saved this guy for last because he's the best. Uh, BB Longlegs likes to squish Pikmin. Uh, normally, the game wants you kind of fight with yellows because you can throw them higher. We're going to fight him with a bunch of reds, even though you don't want to fight this boss with a lot of Pikmin. Because that happens. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, there's a little bit of waiting. Eventually, BD Longlegs will drop his head down like that, and then you can just throw all the Pikmin up there. That was a big hit. All right, 
Thanks. They died for the cause. Uh, when I throw the Pikmin, they actually prioritize the part, so this is faster than trying to swarm them. No, that's why I took the yellow out, so I won't get a counter fire. He or she just walks past the enemies, and since we're not looking at it right now, they're not going to kill anyone. Yeah. But if you look at it, then there's a disaster. It's they eat all the Pikmin and they stop carrying the part. Oh! Wait, you just get got three. I thought you, there's some some deaths happen. Cool. And so Emily feels bad about killing those yellows, so she baited those frogs. Don't, don't, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we don't feel bad about that one. He tried. He's in a better place now. <laughs> I thought this was summer games done quick. Not many Pikmin die quick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they accomplish the same thing. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to spend an extra day here. That's good damage control. Oh yeah, the flower. I think I'm short a couple blues, so I'm just grabbing those pellets to be safe. We have a $5 donation from Joltik. Shout out to Emily for playing Pikmin way better than I can. Seeing such amazing members of the community makes me want to speedrun myself. $5 to the bonus Pokemon Blue Run because it means more time spent watching awesome speedruns. Extra shout out to everyone behind the scenes making sure nothing too major breaks. I'm just trying to be extra prepared for a distant spring because now we're going to get stitch bugs and it's going to be extra forgiving. If I could spend a little time here to save a lot of headache later, I'd rather do that. No. The button for plucking Pikmin is the same as throwing them. So sometimes you accidentally throw your Pikmin. I thought you were about to get an extra troll. We got, we got plenty of nectar. Okay. No, this is sprouted, I think. Ninety-two is good. Cool. We're ready for distant spring. We're trying to get every part in the stage in one day. Yes, Ten that, parts. That was my my goal. Coming into this marathon, I really wanted to show off one day distant spring. It's going to be a little bit more challenging. We're coming in with stitch bugs, but I think I can do it. <sighs> we have a $30 donation from E Man. Up late watching this with my rad girlfriend because this is one of her favorite games. Rip the little pig dudes, and money is reader's choice. That's kind of not good. Luckily, there's a lot of nectar grass right by the start. Oh my god. Not ideal. Um, I'm just gonna go for it. It's a couple of stragglers, but I'll make it work. They'll be fine. Just gotta pull their effort and not slow me down. Mm. 
We have a $20 donation from Pebby. Thank you, Emily, for this amazing and hilarious Pikmin run. It's clearly too late for the Pikmin, but save the animals. <laughs> <laughs> So these guys take damage in the water. I'm luring them in there so they're constantly taking damage. And they're programmed to fly when they're at half health, but I beat them to death before that happens. We have a $20 donation from Enza Danino 15 Emily is my favorite streamer. Oh, and also kill the animals once. Yahoo! Yahoo! I need to alert this guy over here. He's not cooperating. Here we go. Because if the He's parts... Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. If the part's too far that way, it's going to take a different route. And it's not going to be safe. This enemy also has the cutest death animation of all of the enemies. <laughs> there you go. And the part just drops down. Wait, that is not correct. I need to turn off. Cool. Um, we got these Wally Walks here, and we're going to do the same thing we have. What? You're looking at the egg. Oh my goodness That's gracious. Scary. It's gonna be fine, Chris. <laughs> Don't look at the egg. <laughs> There's a boss inside the egg that kills everyone. <laughs> and it pops. The, the, the egg breaks just by looking at it. From my experience. I, it's probably if you get close to it. If not, it's not just by looking at it. All right, this is where the first stinch bug usually pops up and I don't see him, so that's concerning. Oh no. There, it there is. he is, but he's kind of too far away to do anything about. So we'll just encounter him later. That'll be fun. Uh, I'm body. Oh my goodness! They like to like stick in right in front of where you're trying to punch and prevent them actually taking damage. But I somehow got through. Okay. The puffy blowhogs have an attack where they will get rid of all of your flowers and basically blow the Pikmin across the map, which is very undesirable. I do not want that to happen, so I have to always pay attention to where they are. And make sure they're not getting near my base or where Pikmin are standing. Okay. Yeah, my theory is that Masahiro Sakurai had sort of some input into this game because there's random tripping. Would prefer it if these guys got the part moving at some point. We have a $20 donation from Tactician42. Love seeing this event. Stumbled upon HDQ earlier this year. Have been hooked ever since. I even discreetly watch while I'm at work.
Okay, if that frog were to crush them, it would be very bad. We have a $50 donation from Swan that simply says, Awesome event. All right, this is kind of, since I haven't run into the center puck at all, this is kind of where they're going to end up, this half of the map. And depending on where I get it, it'll be very exciting, to say the least. Also, this puffy bullhog likes to ruin my dreams. Where is he? Oh my, I don't like this at all. They're usually in the center, next to the, like, wall. Right there, if you get there. guy has a part in his stomach. Yeah. Not sure how he swallowed that. We have a $50 donation from Arrow235. Thanks to all the staff and the runners for this event. Good luck to the rest of the runners. There he is. Let's go. Oh, come back here. You know you want to play. He's not into This whole area is surrounded by sheer wigs. I do not want to trigger. So. Here we are. Okay, that's one down. Are there two of them? Yes. Is he over there? He's over there. Come over. Like, I have all the Pikmin. I need to fight him now. But I don't want to get this guy in the way. Oh, this is bad. I saw Himajin do this once. I think I can do it. Did it not plant him because he's in the water? Uh -oh. I don't know, man. <laughs> Oh no. Did he just pick up a bomb? I hope not. I think I heard the bomb explode. This is a hot mess. <laughs> Why are they just, oh goodness gracious. I need like two more on the part and it can start with me. <laughs> no, that's really bad. Oh god. We need six bombs. <sighs> this guy will just not let up. Please get this part moving. Okay. Um the problem is I think they kind of wasted all the bombs. There's not any more left. There's uh, extra bombs next to the bull bear. Yeah. <sighs> One short. Oh my Please. god, is it stuck in the wall? We got it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> that part is incredibly trolly. I'm not really sure how to proceed, though. Oh, 
Let's see if I can grab some other bombs. If not, I'm gonna have to kind of do some damage control real fast. We have an anonymous $15 donation. Yeah, there's no bombs. Amazing run by Emily. Keep it up. And save the pig... Oh, uh, whoops. Well, <laughs> save the animals. We have a $20 donation from Hanny that says, way too many feels right now. Luckily, if they're carrying the part, the Puffy Blowhog won't be able to blow them off, so that didn't end in disaster. No. So the only other Pikmin are those carrying the bridge, is what we're gonna do. See, the problem is we still have that other snitch bug just chilling. So I'm gonna actually deposit these guys so we can't do anything with them, and then go save the other guys. We have a $50 donation from Klein that says, Great cause and great entertainment. Thanks to all the runners and volunteers for providing what is always a summer highlight. Gotta go for the two days in Springs Abbey. <sighs> I'm discouraged, but we're not out of the fight. Okay, so... I need to go straight for bombs and then go for... Yeah, I need to get the zirconium rotor basically from back there, and then I can go focus on the rest of the route. We have a $50 donation from Red46. This is a great SGDQ and I really enjoyed it, so keep up the good work. Oh, and save the animals. guy never lets up even for a second I just, oh my god I'm not repeating this get over here <laughs> gonna put you nice and far away from the action And that was not effective. Okay, he shouldn't bother us. I need to rekite the frogs too. I don't need extra bombs. Okay. We have a $50 donation from VBL. Been watching GDQ for years, but this is my first time donating. Keep up the good work and save the animals. Oh boy. 
I'm being very careful not to throw oh the bombs God. there. That one sheer wig. Okay. There we go. On the bright side, we have some new stuff to show off. Um, if I throw these bombs there, they'll actually blow up the gate, but they would drown. So I'm actually able to warp them because the Wii version added a way to select Pikmin. That one's going to drown, though. No. Okay, let's get these guys out of the way. We have an anonymous uh, $100 donation. Only my second year watching ATDQ, but I love watching it nonetheless. Glad to see that gaming is able to help the world in its own special way. Usually you can get by without this guy worrying about you, but he seems to have taken an interest in us, so we'll get him out of the way. Okay, that was a lot of work for one part. We have another $100 donation from Pink Haired Ferret. Been watching Games Done Quick for a few years now, but this is my first time donating. This is a great event that supports a great cause and is filled with lovely and amazing people. Much support to all the runners. P.S. Save the animals. So I just have those two parts, um, the UV lamp, and the gluon drive. That's manageable. Is it time for the one useful glitch of Pikmin? Oh, yes. I'm going to set this up just to be safe. Trying to get this guy off my tail. We have an anonymous $100 donation. I always donate to save, but this year I'll vote the way my brother does. Save the frames, kill the animals. All right, we're going to use this bull bear to be pushed out of bounds. The only useful glitch in this game. See, what the hell? Yeah, he just he walked up there. Yeah, he did climb on top of it. That is not usually how I've goes. never seen that. That's Yo. Okay. <laughs> so okay, that's really okay. important because... No. <laughs> There's a high ledge here that you can't throw blue Pikmin up. The game wants you to use that candy pop button over there, but it's very, very slow. And this alternative is much faster. Has, a, has that never happened before? No. He usually climbs up the other ledge, but that's not an issue. Okay. I have enough.
And these guys are gonna get in the way. They're actually kind of hard to kite because they kind of, I'm having to like stutter step. It's almost like Starcraft, but that should be good. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, the problem now though, is that this guy over here, we're gonna play some live bait. If Olimar's lying down, he's actually invincible. So we're gonna use that to an advantage and then I'm gonna get him over here. No, 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 no. Oh. Please, just rotate. All right, that'll work. The pain is almost over. We got blue on drive and UV lamp. I think I'll go for UV lamp first. Where did that snitch bug go? One is still around somewhere. <laughs> it's a ticking time bomb, I swear. Maybe he took the day off. I would prefer if he did that, actually. Oh my god, oh my god. There's a safe spot I can throw them up here. The UV lamp is very challenging because I need precise movement. Also, this guy is going to be in my way, but it's very difficult to get him around these corners. I've spent a lot of time trying to get that smooth. Please pick up the part. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, we're good. <sighs> That's a load off my shoulders. We have an anonymous $50 donation. Can't pass up a donation while watching the greatest game of all time get run for a great cause. Saving animals? Mm, not as great as a cause. <laughs> okay, this frog needs to be gotten out of the way as well because we reset the day, so the frogs reset their position. We have a $20 donation from Jeffarel. Pikmin 1 and 2 were my favorite games to play as a kid, and completing all the multiplayer maps in Pikmin 2 with my brother are my favorite gaming memories. Seeing as we're killing all the Pikmin, let's also kill all the animals. I need to get these guys out of the way. And Bulborbs are even less fun to fight than uh, the regular Bulborbs. So I can just throw a Pikmin in the wall. He'll be safe there and he'll distract the Bulborbs while I carry the part by. That's it. And now the last day. Should be 29 parts. I think so. We have a $50 donation from Indigo CZ. Thanks for a week of great entertainment. Save the frames. Okay, 29 parts, we unlocked the last area. I will say that is the first time I've ever beaten Distant Springs without killing both snitch bugs. No. Wow, right at the end. Okay. Final area is the final trial. It has the final boss of the game, Emperor Bullblax. Uh, it's got a little puzzle section before it, but I can kind of breeze through that. Let's 
So the designers wanted you to use three types of Pikmin to kind of highlight their abilities, but we're going to skip using the reds for their intended purpose. The main thing I need to do is build this bridge so the part can walk back to my ship. And only the blue Pikmin can get to the islands reliably. We have a hundred dollar donation from Addy35. Thanks to all the runners for many years of entertainment. Keep up the great work. And then we need to blow down a couple bomb gates as well. That's what the yellows are for. These bombs are actually very tricky to get. Um, so I try to throw it on top of the can to make sure he picks it up. That's not okay. Wow. Yeah, it's very easy on the Wii version. <laughs> you can do it on the GameCube version too. It just requires actual thought about where you throw the Pikmin. Okay. So because of that bomb difference we highlighted a while ago, that when you whistle the blue or the yellow Pikmin after you throw them, they do not drop the bombs in this version. Uh, that's kind of the bread and butter of the GameCube Emperor Bowl Black Strat. So I'm going to swap out for reds just so I can increase my damage output. Reds do 1.5 times the base damage, and I need all I can get for Emperor Bowl Blacks. Are you going for the one cycle? That's. I don't think anyone's done that on Weaver. Oh, okay. <laughs> Be the first. Is it even possible? Maybe if you did like task throwing, I don't know. We have a $40 donation from Bowtie Camera Spy. First time that I've been able to donate. SGDQ has been the highlight of my crazy work week. I work at Animal Hospital, so we have to save the animals. We have a $40 donation from Morgan W. Good thing about having a job during SGDQ, I have more money to donate. Bad thing, I couldn't get the week off, so sadly I was only able to watch it immediately. I love the run so far, so thank you guys for doing what you do. It's very, uh, I want the Pikmin to throw the bomb as he's swinging his tongue. So that stuns him longer than if he just eats a bomb Pikmin normally. This is pretty good so far. No dinner strats? Yeah, dude. He, if he's below half health, he will also um, start jumping, which he did not do. Nice. Awesome. I'm so happy we got good RNG considering what else happened. Very clean Emperor Bullblack's fight. And he's down for the count.
Now, literally the one version difference between the English and Japanese versions is that this part requires more Pikmin to carry. Uh, in English, it takes 50. So even if you have like a Pikmin Massacre, you can still grab the part. You don't have that luxury on the Japanese version. I believe it also moves slower, so that's unfortunate. Go for the fireworks. <laughs> oh, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I can still put some more Pikmin on there. All right. No. <laughs> 95 is the max that can carry. Oh no, the flames. Oh, time is when it hits the when the cutscene starts. Yeah, the camera's gonna change to the ship. And time. time. It was a uh, 135.38. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not too bad, considering the stuff I went through. So that's Pikmin. Pikmin's rough. <laughs> and now if we wait for, the, for this cutscene to end, we will be able to see how many Pikmin died. I always, like, I always like to make chat guess how many Pikmin died. So maybe any, everyone in chat wants to go ahead. I don't know, I didn't count, so... I didn't count either. I'm gonna say... <laughs> 27? <laughs> Staff is guessing 27. 27. I'm gonna go with 26. I'll go 28. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> also, or nothing. also, Olimar is not completely evil. You'll see in this cutscene, uh, the Pikmin have learned how to defend themselves. They're adults now. They're tough little guys now. And the reference. Yeah, the suspense. <laughs> <laughs> how much am I donating? It's like a, it's we like a minute We need to long. know. <laughs> yeah, we need to know how many you have to donate. <laughs> One dollar for every Pikmin. Here we go. I think it's actually more than 26, now that I think about it. 44. 44 <laughs> Pikmin. <Nice. laughs> Not even close. Okay. <laughs> All right, that was Pikmin. Yeah, I think. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you, Emily Brooks, for your Pikmin run. This is Summer Games Done Quick 2016, benefiting Doctors Without Borders, sponsored by Twitch. Coming up next is the Trauma Center Second Opinion by Iris Joker.